Create an ArcGIS map layout using ArcGIS application software and data about African countries, cities, rivers, and wildlife. Go to the Start menu and locate the ArcMap icon. Double click on the ArcMap icon to open this application. Select Africa Open. This map has four layers of data that have been classified and symbolized according to attribute information. Notice the two display buttons down at the bottom. The Insert drop-down menu provides utilities to insert map elements into your drawing. Insert data frame. Right-click Select Properties in the General tab and change the name. The world inset data frame. Right click the Africa data frame and rename it to Africa data frame in the general tab. File, page, and print setup option allows us to change the layout size, in this case, from letter to ANSI and a landscape uh, instead of portrait. Now that the page size changes, move and resize the two data frames onto this larger sheet. Allow space for a margin. Use the zoom tools and fill the Africa data frame with the Africa data. Use the scale menu and change the whole numbers. While the data frame is active, select the Insert Scale Bar option and double click on the scale bar to change units to kilometers. Stretch the scale bar until the values are whole numbers. Click on the World Inset data frame to make it active. Add the world.layer file and country's inset layer files by dragging from the catalog on the right into the table of contents on the left. Use the incremental zoom out tool and zoom out until the data fits nicely into this active data frame. Insert a title box with the Insert Title option. Type in a title. In this case, it's use a title that shows the geography and the subject matter. In this case, African population, rivers, and wildlife. Use the Change Symbol button to change the text size. and set it to bold and italicized. Insert text. It places it in the middle of the screen, which is sometimes covered with other data. So type text into the box, hit enter, drag the box into some white space, Double click on it for better viewing. Enter author, date, and any other information, such as data source, in this text box. Use the change symbol button to change the text, the size, the whether you want it bold, ital italicized. Drag the text box to a location that suits you. Final moves and resizing can be applied later. Now add a neat, neat line to delineate the map from the edge of the paper uh, and provide a margin of white space. You can uh, set a decorated border, colored background. Try out different options.
Then also resize the neat line. Now we'll insert a north arrow. All arc map maps are oriented to the north. Now we'll insert a legend with the insert legend option. Remember to click on the pertinent data frame before adding the legend. The video accepts most of the defaults, but you are encouraged to experiment with the different legend settings. Practice moving and resizing all the map elements. There are two types of pans. The layout pan moves the layout page. From the layout menu, select the hand. The map pan moves the map data in the active data frame. Move the Africa map to the left to allow more space for the legend. Move and resize the legend. Ensure text readability by viewing it at 100% from the layout menu. Insert a picture by selecting Insert Picture and navigate to an image of your choosing. Move in the layout. Multiple elements can be selected by holding down the shift key and clicking on each element. Right click and select alignment options. In this case, I did align center. When the layout is finished, remember to save your map with file save. Then use file export map to create a PDF layout. The Save As Type drop-down menu allows you to export to different image formats. Also, notice what folder you save it in. Save and close the ArcMap application. Locate the PDF layout file and open it. View it at 100% and check all text for readability. Thank you 